All right, good exercise for the lats, the big back muscle, the biceps, the uh, muscles in between your shoulder blades called rhomboids and your trapezius muscles up in the, uh, the shoulder area. It actually runs right down to about your, your upper mid back and also your rear deltoid muscles here, back shoulder muscles here. Um, you don't have any equipment at home, that's okay. You can use a bottle of water. Uh, go for an object that's as heavy as you can handle for the prescribed number of repetitions. And all you need is that and a chair. What you're going to do is position yourself so that your hand is on the chair and you're bracing yourself. Okay, now, when I'm doing this, I always want, with all my exercises, I want to think in terms of keeping a tight core. Okay, so I tighten it. You, can, you know what a tight core feels like. You can tap your muscles and they're tight. Okay. Now, your upper back should be straight, not slouched, not overarched, but straight. You do that kind of by pulling your shoulder blades back a little bit, and then you keep your neck straight as well. Your head should be down like this or back like that, nice and straight, okay? That's the position you're going to hold when you're bent over on the bench. And I want to be clear about that, because what happens too often is people slouch like this. Not good, especially for your lower back, okay? So we're going to change that. We're going to tighten the core, and we're going to pull those shoulder blades together, okay? My head's not way back like this, it's not down, everything's straight. And from here, I'm gonna breathe in, out, pull this up to my rib cage, in, out. Brief pause here. Now I wanna make a quick comment on the motion, okay? Here's how the motion works. In slow motion, it's my shoulder blades come together, my shoulder moves, and my elbow moves. And then the opposite happens when I descend. Elbow, shoulder, shoulder blade releases. Shoulder blade, shoulder, elbow, elbow, shoulder, shoulder blade. Shoulder blade, shoulder, elbow, uh, elbow, shoulder, shoulder blade, okay? But that all happens rapidly. And the best cue you can use to make sure it happens is squeeze that shoulder blade. Everything else will follow, okay? What I don't want you doing on this motion is what I call lawn mowing, like this, okay? Your chest should stay parallel to the ground. You're using the lat to pull this up. You're not rotating using your spinal erectors and your core, your, your obliques, to pull it up, okay? Breathe in, out. Nice straight flat back. Most of the weight's on the front foot, but I'm nice and balanced, so I'm braced here, here, and here, three points of contact. You do the prescribed number of reps on one side, then you immediately go to the next side, do the prescribed number of reps, okay? So that's called a dumbbell bent row, a single arm dumbbell bent row. Um, we're not using dumbbells, we're using an item that you have in the home, like a bottle of water, um, but you could use a dumbbell if you had it, okay? But this is for people who don't have any equipment at home, you can still get some exercise in. Okay, single arm dumbbell bent row.